Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Say good afternoon, monkey. Good afternoon, monkey. Hi there, pal. How are you doing? Let's see, 14.6 in here today. 66% humidity, and it is 5 to 5. Just uh, my latest greenhouse catch up video. I've got here some babina, some dianthus there, some carnations, plumeris sonata. Oops, daisy. It's not a pot over. Covered in compost. Here's one of my carnations that I saved and took in. Just alter that. Get some light on here as well. Sorry about this, folks. A bit better. Yep. As you can see, it's going to flower. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm taking some cuttings off this as well, so that's something we can get doing in the next few weeks. Up in Cosmos there. I knocked this over, unfortunately. I knocked all this tray over. I tried to move it without taking all the pots off. The lot came tumbling down. See, these trays have been upturned. I've got some plants there. I can't see the name of them from here. Look, hopefully you can. There and there. They're growing. They were growing at both sides, but unfortunately. I have some there, Agapanthus, which I started from seed. Yeah, some Agapanthus there. I started from seed. They got knocked over all over the place. Here's my geranium, uh, my pelagonians. These were all cuttings. Well, well, some rosemary. That was £1.25 from the supermarket, which I think is really good value. I'll take some cuttings off that as well. As we move around, up the top here, we have some dahlias. If you can see those there. And then the next layer, some pelagoniums. That, they're the ones over the opposite side that I've split. Another dahlia. Some beautiful petunias. These are getting to flower. These have been underneath my artificial lights, so let's take that one down. These had powdery mildew. We've had two lots of spray. And I think I'm finally getting on top of it now. That looks really healthy plant, that. I'm dead happy with that now. But, see there, just a tiny bit left. Wow. Can't seem to get rid of that last little bit, but never mind. That's a really good plant. And we have our sweet peas that have been pinched out. So they'll start thickening up soon. I have some white spring onions there and some mint down there and then what do we have here we have here ready for planting up some tick grid here and i have what do we have here doing this today some more begonias and some lupins so i can't wait to get those done you come around here it's a tray i've just put up here i have some more petunias these are all from my hanging baskets last year as you can see, they came down with powdery mildew. To be fair, these had it before I even fetched it in the greenhouse, so my fault fetching them in. Once I've got them in here, and they're growing really well, I'll just keep spraying and keep on top. At the back there, some cornflowers. We have some delphiniums at the back there. They're plug plants. Let's get one of these out. Let's have a look at it. Let's have a look here. To thicken these up, what you need to do, these need a good water. But then what I'll keep doing is keep pinching the top out and that'll thicken up the root stock and I should get some flowers off that this year to be nice. Put that back. You can get it. Then round here we have some I think these are Chinese radishes or Japanese radishes, something like that. And some dahlias. There's some rose cuttings. We have some lupins there. I left the lid on this and I left the heater on. I basically cook them. I've only got four that's left out of two packages, which I'm not happy about, but at least I've got four left, which is the main thing. We go here, this is my little cuttings, and uh, beautiful dahlia there, that needs checking out and potting on. Two begonias in there. We have, I don't think they might be marigolds, I'm not quite sure. I've got written down somewhere. Two trays of begonias. A dahlia cutting there that looks like it's probably rooted. And some fuchsias that you just just see in there. Just get some growth on those. Slid back down. And then my heater propagator. Everything is doing so well under here. This is one of my show begonias. As you can see now, that is really, I can feel the bulb, it's really solid, which is great. It's tuber, sorry. And that is going to be a real showstopper this year. I'm so looking forward to that. And these tomatoes, wow man, these have shot up. Look at the difference. I just started feeding them a few days ago. And they have absolutely gone ballistic, so hopefully get some nice tomatoes off those. Pelagoniums at the back there. 
forgot what I've got in there, but next to it, I can't remember the name. They are three shits of a look. Sorry about that, folks. We have a beautiful fuchsia at the side there. They produce such big flowers, those. Pelagoniums, and in here, surprise, surprise, have Rubetia. This is what I do with running out of space. Just so three or four lines in each tray. You get a lot more space, a lot better. Rubetia's growing, it's just starting there. You can see those. Marigold's next door. And petunias at the end, and petunias are really shot off. Put the lid back on in a couple more days, and that can come off. And then I have my Papaverse Somniverum. These are poppies. Uh, they're only the annual variety or biannual. They still in the autumn. If you have a mild winter, they can survive to the spring. And I have some cornflowers there, and there's some lemon balm, which is starting to look like it's going to get ready for potting on. So that is a quick whiz round my greenhouse. So just come around here, folks. That's it. So yeah, I'll be getting on with these today. I'll probably post some videos later on. If you've got any questions for me and Monkey, please don't hesitate to ask. If you like my videos, please subscribe and like. Thank you for watching everybody. As always, happy sewing, happy growing. Everybody keep safe. Thank you for watching everybody and keep safe. Bye.